Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play World Series Baseball 98. May 30th, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays are in Oakland to start a three-game set against the Oakland Athletics. And uh, yeah, so let's simulate the, remes the, the remester of the games. No, the remainder of the games. There we go. For the day, see how everybody else did. Ouch! Ouch! All right, let's start from the top. <laughs> All right, so we got a 4 nothing victory for the Reds over the Cardinals. 4 nothing for the Astros over the Padres. Oh, boy, and the big ones. 13-6 to for the Indians over the Orioles. Youch. And then 18-5 to for the Yankees over the Red Sox. Whew. 5 to 2 for the Brewers over the White Sox and 9 to 1 for the Mariners over the Tigers. And it looks like we got a bunch of a two run and one run games here as well. Just to double check. And yeah. Alrighty then. Toronto Blue Jays at Oakland Athletics. Next up for the Blue Jays. The center fielder, number two. All right. Pitch speed to all-star. Pitching matchups. We have Roger Clemens, ver oh, I guess, at Steve Carsey. I think it's Steve Carsey. <coughs> Pardon me. And Carsey is a righty. Is it Carsey or Carsey? Oh. All right, so right-handed. So let's take a look at the lineup. And in batting order, we have Otis Nixon in center field, Sean Crean in left field, Joe Carter at first base, Carlos Delgado as designated hitter, Ed Sprague at third base, Carlos Garcia at second base, Benito Santiago behind the plate, Robert Perez in right field, and Alex Gonzalez at shortstop. Let's play ball. All right. Have we been here yet this season? I know we've played the Athletics once, but I'm not sure if we've ever actually been to Oakland. I think we've been to Anaheim, Texas. I think we've made this maybe our first time in Oakland. All right. It's a nice stadium. Uh, Sean Green. Yeah, let's go with power. I don't know about it, but it just seems like the whole the uh, the color scheme, I guess you could say, of the Oakland, Oakland Athletics seems like it would be a really relaxing place to be, like their stadium and the color is just kind of matching like that, the green and yellow. No, it just seems like it'd be a really relaxing place. Number twenty-nine. Maybe it just has something to do with the fact that it just you know it's very. Much like gardeny colors, I guess you could say. A garden aesthetic, almost. Next up for the A, the short stop, number twenty-eight. All right, Tony Batista is up. Let's go with a slow slider to start things off. The bottom of the first. Next up. For the A, the third paper, number seven. All right, let's go with a medium slider. Uh, let's try slow splitter. Ground ball. Next up, for the A, the right fielder. Number 33. Alrighty, uh, let's start off with a slow slider <laughs> to Jose Canseco. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to face Mark McGuire here, too. Oh, boy. Uh, slow fastball. A routine fly to the outfield. 
Alright, three up, three down. Now better. The designated hitter. Number twenty five. Ooh. I just still think it's one of the neatest things that, even though, like, this game is, you know, I think for most of the Sega Genesis games, unless I'm, like, completely wrong, which is very quite possible, since I've never owned a Sega Genesis until recently, but, uh, I, I find it really neat that the, uh, even though most of the game is either 15 or 30 frames per second, the pitches themselves, when they're coming at the plate, are 60 frames per second, so it's... Something really cool. Something neat. A fly to the I wonder if any uh, Super Nintendo games were like that as well. Or if they, uh, if any or most or uh, a lot of them had a, you know capabilities for 60 frames per second or not. Another three up, three down for them too. For the A, the first baby, number twenty-five. All right, let's uh, start things out with a fast splitter. Ball one. Um, try a medium splitter. Ball two. I'm afraid to pitch anything high to him. Uh, let's try a slow fastball down the middle. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try a slow slider. Oh boy. And let's try throwing the heat. Got him. <coughs> Pardon me. Designated hitter. Number 29. Uh, let's go with the fast slider. And a first. Two out. Next up. For the A. The left fielder. Number 16. Hmm. Let's go with a slow fastball. Slow slider. It's a routine grounder. <coughs> Pardon me. How many consecutive games did Joe DiMaggio hit safely and to set the record? Uh, 58? Ah, uh, 56. Wow, 58 game hit streak? That's impressive. That is what that was about, right? I read the whole thing, but I promptly forgot what it said <laughs> when I saw the numbers. I had an idea what it was about, but... <laughs> Alright. Ooh! Diving catch. For that first out. For the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number eight. Send it back to first. Now that for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. Right to the second baseman. Young. Alrighty. Uh, let's go with the. Uh, let's go with the slow fastball. Uh, let's try a medium slider. Right 
Let's try a slow slider. Straight three. Alrighty. Next job for the A. The second paper. Number twenty one. Uh, let's go with a medium fastball. Grab ball. Gonzalez to first. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now that for the A, the catcher, number nineteen. Hmm. Medium fastball. Medium slider. Yeah, let's try throwing a fast splitter. Ooh. <clears throat> Burn me. Next job for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. Let's go with the normal swing this time. Or rather, normal power, if you will. I can technically still bunt with this if I like. I could bunt it with a power swing if I wanted to. <laughs> or... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, line drive in a right center field. I don't know if that's a line drive, but all the way to the wall, and it's just a single. Now that for the Blue Jays. The first paper, number 29. Just me, or am I seeing a lot of uh, mid-60s pitches from here, from this guy? Oh, there's an 83. All right. <laughs> ah, got me. Now that designated hitter number 25 Carlos Delgado Hold on Ooh, one and one pitch dropped it in a left field Flies out to the outfield. Two outs. Now batter for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. Ah, could have had that one. I don't think I've ever gotten a good look at how to sink or works, but that was pretty cool. I'd almost compare it to being just kind of like, what would the, kind of like a vertical version of like a slider or something like that. Whereas a splitter is literally the thing to the bottom just drops out on it kind of thing. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's go with a slow splitter. <clears throat> Pardon me. Ball one. Let's try a slow fastball. And let's go with a medium slider. And let's throw the heat. Scott Barocious. Let's go with a fast slider. Fly ball to left. Oh, ooh, that was close. Now that for the A, the right fielder, number 33. Uh, let's go with a slow slider. Ooh. Yeah. 
now batting for the Blue Jays, the second baseman, number 13. Uh, normal. Nice curve. Ooh. So you only get something on that at least. A routine fly to the outfield. Out. Now that for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number eighteen. High ball one. Now that for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 17. Swing and a miss. That was another sinker. And got me at first. Or got him at first. For the A, the first baseman, number 25. All right, Mark McGuire, eh? Let's go with a medium fastball down the middle. Phew. Oh, no. And the first base hit. A single to Mark McGuire. Now that the designated hitter. Number 29. Uh, slow fastball. Slow slider. Apologies. Go medium fastball. Ooh, and caught it. Now that for the A, the left fielder. Number 16. Uh, let's go with a medium slider. Bunch it down the first base line. Get the out of first. Mark McGuire advances to second. Now that for the A, the center fielder, number 11. Hmm. Let's throw the heat. Go with a slow splitter. Uh, let's go with a slow fastball. And let's go with another slow splitter. Or the third out. For the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number eight. Ball one. <clears throat> Pardon me. Fly ball to shell and right. Next up. For the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. Otis Nixon. Swing and a miss. <laughs> ah, swing and a miss. Round ball in a right field base hit. Next job for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 15. Set in the second. Ball one to Sean Green. Ooh, safe at second. All right. Oh! 
off the wall. Go, Nixon. One run scores. Sean Green at second. Next up for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 29. Drops it in the right field. Sean Green stays at second. <laughs> Runners at first and second. All right. Designated hitter, number 25. Ball one. Sinker. I don't even think I would have gotten back in time, even if I tried. All right, let's go with a fast splitter. Not splitter, slider. Let's go with a uh, slow slider. Oh, and Garcia makes the play at first. Next up, for the A, the catcher. Number 19. And medium slider. Uh, slow fastball. And... Let's go with a fast splitter. <clears throat> Pardon me. Sit in the left field. Next up for the A, the shortstop, number 28. Let's go with a slow slider. It's a routine grounder. Second, first, double play. Next up for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. Ooh. It's a routine grounder. Out. Now that for the Blue Jays, the second baseman, number thirteen. Try a power swing with Garcia. It's not where the numbers are, but you never know. Oh. <laughs> ah, two and two. <clears throat> Pardon me. Full count. And ball four. Alright. I was half expecting the umpire to go strike three. Like, no. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 18. Definitely haven't seen very many walks on my end, anyway, this season. Send Garcia to second. Strike two to Santiago. Out at second. Darn. Two outs. On to the count. Ah, got me. Now that for the A, the third baby, number seven. Here's uh, Clemens doing. He's doing all right. Uh, let's go the slow slider. Let's go the slow fastball. And let's go the medium fastball. Now that 
for the A, the right fielder, number 33. Oh boy, uh, alright, let's go with a slow slider. Do I want to risk it? Let's go with a slow fastball. Let's throw the heat. Got him. Now that for the A, the first baseman, number twenty-five. All right, uh, yeah, let's just go with a fast splitter. Let's go with a slow slider. Ooh. So ready to have a Gonzalez try to make the play, but the Sprague was right there. A, number twenty. All right, change the the guard. Not really the pitcher. <laughs> Lewis, All right. another righty. All right. Robert Perez up, launches it in the right field. Base hit all the way to the wall. Round first, sliding into second. For the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number eight. Alex Gonzalez. One and one. Two, the pitch. Da, ah, straight three. Now that for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number two. Hmm, just go normal. Normal the first. Two out. Now that for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number fifteen. Let's go with the power. Whoa! <laughs> oh, oh. Is he gonna walk me? Yeah, looks like they're yeah. intentional walk to Sean Green. Looks like. Keeping my eye on the strike zone just to make sure they don't try to put one over on me, but no. Intentional walk to Sean Green. For the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 29. That first one, though. Wow. <laughs> and ground ball in the center field. Base hit. Base is loaded. Next job. Designated hitter, number 25. All right, Carlos. That deep. Does it have enough? Not quite. Next up, the designated hitter, number 29. Yeah, let's warm somebody up. Um, Let's do a Risley Timlin combination here, just in case. Let's go with a slow slider. Ooh. Let's go with another slow slider. And it's straight through the heat. Uh, let's go with a medium slider. Now that for the A, the center fielder, number eleven. All right, let's throw the heat down the middle. 
launches it into right left center field and Nixon makes the catch. Now that for the Blue Jays, the third baseman, number 33. Yeah, I guess I didn't need to warm them up just yet, but well. Strike three. <laughs> now that for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number eighteen. Center for the third out. <clears throat> Hurt me. Alrighty. Now that for the A, the second baseman, number twenty one. All right, let's bring in Tim. The pitcher for the Blue Jays, number forty. Alrighty, let's start off with a medium slider. Ball one. <laughs> Alright, let's go with a slow slider. Let's go with another medium slider. Try a slow change up. Ooh, just missed. Let's try throwing the heat. It's a routine grounder. Oh. Next up, for the A, the catcher, number 19. Alright, let's go with a fast slider. Slow fastball. And let's try throwing the heat. Now that for the A, the shortstop, number twenty eight. Uh, let's go with a medium slider. Break on that thing. Let's go with a slow fastball. Round ball back to Timlin, throws the first to end the ball game. Alrighty, for the Toronto Blue Jays, one run on seven hits with zero errors. No home runs. One stolen base for Otis Nixon, one RBI for Sean Green. Otis Nixon was the run. Two for three for Sean Green with the uh, intentional walk added on there. Uh, two for four for Joe Carter. Uh, one for four for Otis Nixon. One for four for Benito Santiago. And one for three for Robert Perez. <clears throat> Pitching, Roger Clemens. Eight innings, struck out seven, walked zero, zero home runs, zero earned runs. Gets his 12th win of the season. Mike Timlin, one inning pitched, one strikeout, zero walks, zero home runs, zero earned runs, 
and earns his seventh save of the season. For the Oakland Athletics, zero runs on two hits with zero errors. Mark McGuire and Williams have had the lone hits. For pitching, Carse, seven innings pitched, three strikeouts, one walk, zero home runs, one earned run. Lewis, two innings pitched, two strikeouts, one walk, zero home runs, zero earned runs. Carse gets his fourth loss of the season. Oh, pardon me. Alrighty. League leaders for the American League. All right. <clears throat> 19 stolen bases for Otis Nixon. Twenty three doubles for David Justice. Well, as for the top five home runs in the American League, that def definitely didn't change. There weren't any home runs that game. <laughs> and all five of the players are from either Toronto or Oakland. <laughs> 61 RBIs for Joe Carter. For pitching, Roger Clemens, 12 wins. ERA of 0 0.897. How many strikeouts does Tim Lynn have? I'll try to keep an eye on that. I'll try to remember look at, to look at that. Maybe we're checking uh, Clemens as well. He got a nice chunk of them. 96 strikeouts for Johnson, 91 for Facero, 87 for Pettit. All right, let's see how uh, all right, so Clemens has 72. Uh, where's Timlin? Where has he pitched enough to uh, be counted among them? Probably got a little bit of ways to go. Oh, there he is. Two strikeouts. Yay! <laughs> Uh, 52 walks for Pettit, but 87 strikeouts on the other hand. <laughs> All right. Eight complete games for Roger Clemens. Today was not one of them. I wonder if they count that as a shutout if he doesn't pitch the nine innings. I get the feeling they don't, but yeah. Clemens is leading in shutouts with six, though. 13 quality starts of his 14 starts. Alrighty, and for the National League, for batting. Yeah, there's. Hey! Barry Bonds, Martin, and uh, Mark Rodzelanek in the top three there. 13 stolen bases for Dion Sanders. 703 slugging percentage for Barry Bonds. Thirty-three doubles for Blouser. Tacked another one on. <laughs> Seven triples for Womack. Ooh boy. Still a tight race for the home runs. 21 home runs for Henry Rodriguez. 20 home runs apiece for Sammy Sosa and Barry Bonds. Yeesh, they're even neat. tied with RBIs, too. So, 50 RBIs for Rodriguez, 42 for Gant, and 42 for Walker. For pitching. Hey, got another eight. Eight win pitcher there. Oh, both of the, oh, two of them are from Colorado. 
We've got Tapani, Ritz, and Wright. Eight wins apiece. ERAs of 0 0.979, 1.394, and 1.987, respectively. Yep, still 106 strikeouts for Schmidt, 99 for Cordova, 94 for Hampton, Shrek, and Smiley. Nine complete games for, for Schmidt, three shutouts. Nine quality starts for him as well. <coughs> Pardon me. Shurak, however, is still leading in quality starts with 14. Has he pitched 14 games? Yeah, he's pitched 14 games. <laughs> still has yet to give up a run in the first inning. Good on him. All right. And there we go. At the end of May 30th, 1997, in the American League West, Seattle Mariners are leading 29 wins, 25 losses, followed by Oakland with 26 and 29, Texas Rangers 22 and 32, and Anaheim Angels 17 and 36. Central Division, Cleveland Indians 36 and 18, Kansas City Royals 31 and 22, Chicago White Sox 23 and 29, tied with Milwaukee for 23 and 29. And Minnesota Twins, 22 and 32. In the East, Toronto, 47 wins, 6 losses. Baltimore Orioles, 32 and 23. Detroit, 25 and 28. New York, 23 and 31. And Boston, 19 and 35. The National League West, Colorado Rockies, 33 wins, 20 losses, followed by San Diego, 26 and 26. San Francisco, 23 and 29. And the Los Angeles Dodgers, 20 and 32. Central Division, St. Louis Cardinals, 31 and 21. Chicago Cubs, 27 and 26. Cincinnati, half game behind them, 27 and 27. Houston, 24 and 29. Pittsburgh, 21 and 33. And in the East, Montreal Expos, 33 wins, 19 losses. Followed by Atlanta, 32 and 21. New York, 31 and 22. Oh, cool. <laughs> Double check to make sure I got those numbers right this time. Eh, Florida 21 and 30 and Philadelphia 20 and 34. Next time on May 31st, 1997, the Toronto Blue Jays are still in Oakland to play their second game of the three game series before heading off to. Where are we here? Oh, there we go. Before heading off to Seattle for a two game series. So I guess we'll have to take care of that as they come. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.